Hey everybody, this is Chris from This Week in Beer, and I've got something new for you. I'm going to change up the style a little bit of this too. Uh, I'll be trying to give you an actual useful review of things. Um, try to be a little more descriptive in ways that you can understand. Coming from the Western Gremlin Studios. And, uh, we'll see what you think. So I was at I was out, I was out at uh, the bar for lunch the other day, and I saw something that I've been seeing at a number of other places where they're advertising special mixes of beers, where they'll throw two beers together and call it something new. And I've never been I've never really been big on mixing beers. I mean I know people talk about getting their black and tan all the time, but I've also never been a Guinness person. But that's not that's neither here nor there. I decided we'll give the, I'll give this give, the, give this a try. So I ordered one. They brought it, and it was amazing. It was great, and I figured, let's start uh, sharing these these type of concoctions. And as I've been talking to some of my friends, they said, "Oh yeah, we've been this all the time. I've got this great one. You should really, really try try this." And I realized, "Wow, this is something that actually really seems to be pretty popular." So I figured we'd start a new segment and start doing these, and maybe start experimenting on some stuff on my own. Uh, but I'm going to start out with the one that I had at the bar, and it's taking a Sam Adams cherry wheat. Which, on its own, is all right if you're into that kind of thing. If you feel like fruit beers. It's... Not really for me. It's all right. And uh, summer shandy, which I guess also is technically a fruit beer, but the shandy is controversial. But I really like it. That I like. But you mix the two of them together and you get a cherry shandy, which, yeah, not a lot of creativity there, but I'm not sure what it is between the cherry and the lemonade and the beer, but this comes out tasting like cola. In fact, like cherry coke, which, very refreshing. Like, I imagine this would be something that I would love to drink on a very hot day after I've just been doing a bunch of yard work, Coming back in when I'm, when I'm really hot. And this this is very refreshing. Now, now somehow this does manage to refill itself. Um, somehow this does manage to cut a lot of the beer flavor out of that. Which, not sure how I feel about it. I mean, as a beer, it doesn't taste like beer. It tastes it tastes like like a soda. It tastes like. Honestly, neither of these have a very strong beer flavor on their own, but what they do have is very much diminished when you put them together. You certainly have to be looking, it, it's, it's certainly a flavor that you have to be looking for. Um, if you want a good flavored beer that's got a little hint of a hint of cola or hint of cherry, hint of lemonade, this is not what you're looking for. I recommend picking up some of these two beers, mixing them together, try it out. Just half and half of each one, no special ratio. <clears throat> it's a very surprise, very very surprising flavor to that. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna start going through some of uh, the suggestions that I've had already, and then we'll start just kind of opening up my own brain a little bit and think about what combinations might be good, what combinations might be terrible, but we'll try it anyway. And so this is the first episode of Mad Scientist. And if you like it, keep tuning in and we'll have more.